and there are several infrastructures that god put in place to ensure that you are a flame of, of fire matthew chapter 3 verse 11 because of time matthew chapter 3 verse 11 he said i indeed reduce your volume i indeed baptize you with water on this is john speaking but he that cometh after me is mightier than i whose shoes i'm not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire according to this scripture there are two baptisms first one is the holy ghost baptism and if you deal properly with that first investment it will open the doors to the next investment because john begins to speak about jesus here and that the way jesus will operate he himself baptized with water which is physical but the way jesus is going to operate is that he will make available spiritual capital he is going to be operating on the strength of spiritual capital not physical stuff but spiritual capital and there are two baptisms that must be received in order for our full capacity and potential to become accessible available and possible first of all he provides the spiritual capital of the baptism in the holy ghost now there there's a lot that we can draw from that first aspect because in the book of acts chapter 1 verse 8 when he spoke about the holy ghost baptism he didn't say you will receive speaking in tongues after the holy ghost comes upon you but the average Pentecostal Christian only has the ability to speak in tongues. He said, you shall receive power. The full realization of the potential that is tied to this spiritual capital that you are receiving in the person of the Holy Ghost. The full realization is what? Oh, you're not with me. Is what? Now, how many of us here have power? If we move this meeting from the comfort of this cozy environment and we begin to look for an easy move, to try out that's when you will know that people are just in church for fun and nothing is really happening jesus didn't say you receive holy ghost you receive tongues after holy ghost comes he said you receive power that this in spiritual capital has the potential of the dimensions of power the initial evidence that the spiritual capital has been received is your ability to speak in tongues that's not the destiny of the capital Meanwhile, in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, the word power there is dunamis. And you must have heard me say it again and again that it has two meanings in Greek language. First meaning is that it is, it is potential energy, potential. This is Niger Delta. Is there crude oil here? There's crude oil. Alright, so there's something called crude oil and it's here. It's a complex mixture of hydrocarbons. I happen to be a chemist. And crude oil is not useful in its crude state, but it's a compendium of useful stuff. You will need to pass it through a refinery for it to begin to fractionate. A refinery is like a fractional distillation column. That's what it is. If you know fractional distillation, that's what a refinery is. And the fine fractions of that crude oil will begin to fractionate at their various temperatures. So you introduce temperature and pressure and at the right temperature the fine fractions will begin to fractionate so the associated gases will come out first and then the the um lighter liquids like aviation to bank kerosene begin to come out so the kerosene used for jet engines then household kerosene will now come out before premium motor spirit which is your petrol and heavier products will begin to come out at various temperatures like that until all the useful aggregates will come out that is the idea of this spiritual capital it is a complex mixture of all that god makes available for life and godliness but you will need to subject it to the refinery and that's why the only gift that god gave us that you cannot print at will is your ability to speak in tongues is the refinery objected to refinement have you taken note that jesus slept in a boat and there was a storm but he was comfortable sleeping? that's how he has slept in many people's life you can sleep in your life forever with with cushion he has cushion there you know? <laughs> uh, until peter cried out can i go down that we perish 
said, okay, I thought you people were allowing me to sleep. Because they were still using their skills as fishermen. They didn't know that that wind was spiritual. It was the place that Jesus told them that they want to go, that other side. That's where the madman of Gadara is. They, they sent that wind to ensure that they never get there. And the man thought it was, since he has mastered waves, he has mastered the seas, he can use his, his experience. So Jesus left him. You are, you are using your experience. That's why Jesus is sleeping. <laughs> and I assure you, Jesus can sleep. <laughs> He's sleeping in the heart of Pentecostals today. Because they have refused to switch on the refinery. And so, I, I was bedeviled by so many problems when I was small. Seven years. Eight years. Thirteen years. So I started speaking in tongues early. And speaking for long. And I was doing it just to have ventilation. To have peace for a while. And God allowed the bondage so that I would keep investing. I didn't know that the refinery was their products heavy duty asphalt was going to come out if there are no products coming out of your life it is because you have not operated your refinery it is not speaking in tongues jesus said will receive it is power the time came after operating the refinery the things that i feared now became afraid of me the things that i used to dread I became a dread to them. The things that killed some people, some of my relatives, we killed it. Today. Some, some of those things will come down today. today. The second meaning of dunamis is inherent energy. Just like you have an iPad, inherent energy. You have a cell phone right and your cell phone runs on android so you go to google store to download an application and when you get there you say okay i want a calculator they give you terms and conditions you say i accept download start it downloads to your phone when it has adequately downloaded it becomes part of your phone it becomes inherent with your phone just like the deposit this spiritual capital is inherent with your now the implication is that you don't need to take permission from God to use it because it is on your phone. You don't need to take permission from Google to use it because it's where? On your phone. So you are the one that decides its use. And that's why in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Paul says, I will pray with my spirit. It is my responsibility to decide. So when I discovered it was up to me, that the reason why it's inherent is that God had transferred the responsibility of usage. So that it will no longer be up to God, but up to me. I took responsibility for my life. That the outcome of my life is a result of what I decide to do with the spiritual capital that God has made available. So first of all, there is a release of the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. It's when you begin to use this refinery that you are going to receive the second baptism. It's for users. Fire will engulf you also. How many of you saw when Trophilus was ministry? The whole place was came became a victim of the economy that was at work in his spirit man. That thing that happened here was it first happened inside, and then when he began to open the conduit, which is his mouth, the atmosphere became a victim of what was happening in his spirit. Just like your business can become a victim of what is happening with your spirit if you know how to use that power. You, the entire landscape of your family can become a victim of the reality happening with your spirit if you know how to release it. The entire Aquaibom state can become a victim of what is happening, the economy that is at work in your spirit if you know how to release that economy to the environment. There were so many things that God could give us. He gave us spiritual capital. And said so with this, you'll be able to pros prosecute life and godliness. It is when we have decided to use this refinery to a point then God now gives you the second baptism that baptism of fire gives you the ability it's a way it sets you it sets you on a setting course and gives you the ability to be able to influence your environment when you find a family that is dormant under the yoke of a course it will take 
someone that has that baptism of fire it makes you restless it makes you never to give in it makes you never to surrender you are always ready to contend when those dimensions come some people would have you know that you were on campus with you were all born in and then you graduated and you continue and then the people that you were on campus with now saw you five years later many of them we wonder Javed, you know why he, he is one of the burning ones the burning, you see the civilization that will break out of a burning one is such that you cannot analyze mentally or with a calculator a massive mighty civilization will, will break out of the heart of a burning one the economy that is at work in your spirit can be used to regulate natural things I'm the one that makes things happen yes because of the economy I have realized this potential to a certain degree that I can use it to bring change it is only the burning ones that can effect change with the economy of God that is at work in their spirit man through the agency of priesthood there is a guaranteed dimension of the deposit of God that is operating within the ecosystem of their heart and from that deposit they can bring changes they can bring changes tangible changes to the environment this is the potential that we have in Christ Jesus and the Bible says that that he makes his angels what but our identity from the perspective of his own realm is that we will print optimally when we become flames of fire because of time I'm going to end with one scripture no time to teach today do we have a morning session so in the morning session we will go into the word of god and um, let's let's end with john chapter 5 verse 35 john chapter 5 verse 35 this is jesus speaking about john from the immortal realm the witness of john this is jesus speaking about john and jesus called john what what a burning and a shining light this was Jesus' testimony about john and his ministry that the witness of john the baptist was like a burning and a shining light a burning and a shining light this is jesus speaking that was how john's witness was if you view it from the mortar realm it was a burning and a shining light obviously this perspective that jesus brought was not a perspective that you could see in the physical this was the testimony about john from his identity from the supernatural from the spiritual when you view john what was responsible for his utterance his conviction what was responsible for the fact that he was not afraid of death and he could speak truth to power irrespective of the consequences was that there was a burning and a shining light if we are going to come out of this swamp if our generation will come out of the of the woods then the burning ones will need to bring witness again to a generation that is facing severe crisis on earth i want to have this testimony the testimony of what of a burning and a shining man now this is time for practical we'll do practical for 20 minutes before we begin prayers and then the angels will descend god has released one angel to me for practical all right where you are sitting inside or outside you are a part of this meeting for those of you that are listening online it's time for practicals and uh, you are a part of what we're doing let me teach you two things the first thing is how to use exercise your spirit are you with me how to exercise your spirit so we want to exercise our spirit now first of all forget about your problems can you do that you can do that can you do that? can you forget about your problem? okay so i'm talking to the people that can forget about your problem huh. when you succeed to forget about your problems focus on god. just discipline your mind to focus on god it's very difficult you need five years of experience to know how to discipline your own mind five years not as if you're a good student you know, because I just said it, say, mm. Mm. to draw from the economy that is in your spirit, you need training. Because there are many things that look real to you, 
and all those things that look real to you they are temporary and the devil will use temporary things to distract you from real things so first of all forget about your problems and then let us focus on God and when you leave here don't stop operating by this principle to take your time have you ever prayed before you were praying and then your, your mind went to a dark set and you, you rebuilt it you brought it back then you continue then went to your God and you're not the one controlling it it's just moving by itself and then after some time you will be wondering if you are really praying or is the worship of your God that is happening <laughs> that's why you're weak that's why you can't use the economy it's not available for use first of all you need to discipline your mind discipline your mind when you discipline your mind and you begin to to explore God the way astronauts explore space then the Holy Ghost will become a river he will flow that's the first expression of him that you're going to notice he will start flowing and when he starts flowing he will flow into your mind then you begin to think the thoughts of God he will begin to use your mind just like demons can use people's mind and they can use their vocal cord have you ever seen that before you begin to think through your thoughts that's the first level when you start thinking through your thoughts all your thoughts are accurate your thoughts are beginning to fulfill the reason for which they exist because it's, it's a platform for the expression of the dynamics of the economy of the spirit of god he will now come into your thoughts and begin to use your thoughts so when we get there i will stop you and tell you that we have gotten there and i will show you the symptoms am i in the right place at all i'm beginning to feel okay let's leave this matter let's leave let's just pray let's do the normal things we do in church at this time when we finish normally when a preacher finishes to pray uh, to preach people pray he will flow into your thoughts we begin to use your thoughts and if you don't know him you will not know that it's him if you don't want him more than everything you will never know what i'm talking about you will never know it when he begins to use your thoughts then that's when illumination comes that's when the eyes of your understanding becomes enlightened you know things that you were never taught you understand things that you did not learn that's the first level of it, the expression of his economy mm. many of you don't want to learn it took me about 16 years to learn what i'm teaching so i know how to set my heart to find him if i want to find him i know how to set my heart i have to take my heart away from distraction that's what the bible says say, looking unto jesus in the greek it, it, it says looking away unto jesus for when the heart is turned to the lord the veil shall be taken away and access will be granted can we try use your will use your will to decide that your problem is no longer your problem that your problem now is that you want to see jesus use it's an act of your will let me tell you what will happen are you with me there are 12 people in this congregation as we begin to do what i'm doing 12 people the ray i see 12 rays of light that will come on 12 people that if those rays come then i will continue from there and show you other things that can happen so there are 12 people that will be implicated by this our movement and uh, the ray of light will come on them from the realm of illumination we now go to the realm of the voice that's the realm of, realm of the decree what the bible calls the trumpets announcements from heaven because there is always breaking news in heaven always that's the realm of the trumpets we'll now go to the realm of the trumpets you'll now know what god is saying now not what he said yesterday because in these last days he speaks by his son not through preachers his son will witness to your heart by his spirit 
and that's the only way you can navigate accurately are you still you still want to do the practical so remove your heart from everything and then begin to pray in tongues pray in tongues let your body your mind and your spirit be alive because a house that is divided against itself shall not stand I'm trying to see if I can bring us into the realm of the fire. It's, it's a reality in the spirit. Ah, you are not exercising your spirit. It's a reality. It's a reality. It's a reality. Now, you, try to help me. This man is not helping me. You help me. See, forget about your neighbor. Forget about your neighbor. Forget about your neighbor. Just focus. Just focus. Focus. Those of you outside, forget about your neighbor. Just focus. Just focus now. Holy fire, fall upon my altar. From within me, spirit you take over. 